Hey everybody, CatSymph TV, and we are taking a more detailed look at the Rick and Morty Pocket Operator from Teenage Engineering. This will be a more detailed video compared to our unboxing, which you can check out using the link above. The three top buttons are used to select sounds, patterns, and BPM. You can use the continuous controllers for various parameters and the mode and function selectors. It comes with 15 sounds, all voiced by Justin Roiland. Hold down the sound button and press the number you want. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. When playing sounds, the rotary controls change the pitch and formant structure of the sounds. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. The pitch and formant controls exemplify the fact that the sounds in the pocket operator are not just samples, but rather voice synthesis. To select a pattern, hold down the pattern button, select one of the numbered buttons, and press play. <laughs> Tap the BPM button to change between three preset tempos, R&M, Human, and Schwifty. As a reminder, the BPM button on the pocket operator also controls the volume. To change the volume, hold down BPM and select the number of the volume level you want. We're going to set it to 9, maybe even 10. Okay, now let's go through all of the 15 preset sounds. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. Show me what you got! Rick? Run, Morty! I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! Two brothers, in a van, and then a meteor hit. Holy crap! Wubba lubba dub dub! Oh, wee, Rick! Everyone has a plumbus in their home. Here we go! Gaga blah blah. Ah! If you want to ruin this thing, then hold record and press 1 through 15 to sample your own dumb sounds. And you know, that's just what we're gonna do now. We're gonna select sound 13 to record over. Gaga blah blah. Use the record button to record from either the internal mic or an external line in. You are watching CatSim TV. Okay, not sure why that metronome turned on, but we'll run with it. You are watching Capsin TV. You are watching. You are watching Capsin TV. We can even TV. apply the pitch and formant changes to our new you sound. Are TV. You can access each of the eight voice effects by holding down the effects button and pressing one through you eight. Have to have a high you have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. You have to have a pretty high IQ to be able to operate this little piece of gold. As with Pitch Informant, the voice effects are properties of the voice synthesizer. Okay, now we're going to look at the built-in drum machine, which you can access by pressing sound and 16. <laughs> 
As with the voices, the drum sounds are also synthesized, so you have two parameters you can use to change the quality of the sound via the two rotary knobs. Okay, in this next section, we're going to record a new pattern into pattern slot 13. To clear it, press the pattern and record button at the same time. Now we should have a blank pattern. We're going to start recording in step mode, which you get into by hitting right and then selecting which of the 16 slots you want to use for your sounds. Press right again and then play to listen back. Let's add the snare at steps 5 and 13. Let's add some cymbal eighth notes using additional steps of the pattern. Again, we press right to see the grid, and we add the steps that we want. Now let's record voice to our pattern. Let's fix the pitch informant. We can now overlay in real time to our pattern by pressing play and then pressing right. You can even record parameter changes as well as sound changes in real time. This concludes our detailed look at the Rick and Morty Pocket Operator. For more information, please visit teenage.engineering and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You are watching CatSynth TV.